What's up guys and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild, the story mission series here in Parque Fernando, South America. What we're currently doing is we're going to, of course, Abaddon's campsite. Uh, every single map seems to have Baden as the token idiot. And uh, this map is no different. We do have a Baden who is doing something stupid. And they require... Their stupidity, I should say, requires us to go investigate what they're doing. So, that's what we're heading off to. We have to investigate the campsite. And I will see you guys when we get there or when something interesting happens. Commercial break. Did ah. you see the campsite? Is Baden there? You can confront him. Just don't shoot him. He's not dangerous. He didn't bring any weapons onto the reserve. Check out that tent. Hope there's no puma inside. Patagonian Adventures of Gilbert Bodden, Animal Whisperer. <laughs> the Cave of Wonders. Niempedo. Who are his friends? The only other people around here are pumas. Check out this cave by the mansion. That's the puma den. If the pumas are out, see if you can find his, his remains, I guess. <laughs> so go look for the puma. <laughs> That's basically what she just told us to do. That's awesome. Not sure I agree with her logic, but okay. Um, we got something full of arrows. Oof, there's a carcass, but not buttons. Check this animal. I don't think the puma's left it there. Um, no. That animal must have suffered. Obviously, that's the work of someone who doesn't know what he's doing. Like a certain amateur who wasn't licensed to bring weapons into the park. For now, can you help me out with something a little more personal? I have a... what do you call it? A secret stash. A place in the wilderness where I keep personal items. Things I might need in the future that I don't want anyone else to find. I trust you, so I'm going to tell you where my secret stash is. Go to the location marked on your hunter mate. Alright guys, so I wasn't too far off when I was looking at a black buck and the darn thing just took off for seemingly no reason. And it just so happened I saw this streak of white. You heard me correctly, a streak of white. And it ended up being you know, a puma. I've come to appreciate your stoic demeanor. Quiet types are easy to talk to. Don't make me regret trusting you, viste? It ended up being a white puma. And I just lined up, took the shot. I don't think I hit a vital. But man, he went down, or she. I, I don't even know if it's male or female. It went down really, really quick. So I'm thinking I did hit some sort of vital. I'd almost have to, had to have because of how quickly it went down. Well, let's take a look at her, at it, him, her, whatever. Wow, that's actually pretty. We're going to take us a picture of that one. What do we got here? Male, gray. Really? Gray. Flesh, intestine, stomach, so no, I didn't hit a vital. It would have made gold had I hit a vital, though. Daggummit. Well, we're still going to save it, just because that is really cool looking. And, uh, we only have 100 meters to go, so I'll keep you guys around until we get up there. To the secret stash, or some such like that. 
check me at the big rock for a key. You'll need it to unlock my stash. Okay. Now bring that key to the new location marked on your hunter mate. Did we crash? Son of a gun. Well, I just found out the identity of Simona's biological father on Esposas y Jefas. And all I can say is, wow, I did not see that twist coming. I won't spoil it for you. Spend enough time working with me, you two will become obsessed with telenovelas. You'll see. My secret stash should be just ahead of you. Use the key to unlock it. You have got to be shitting me. Third time's a charm, maybe? Nope, of course not. We can be in the game for two seconds this time, and it crashes. Are you joking? Let's see if we can last a little bit longer this time around. Where is the secret that we're supposed to see? Is it outside? Oh, probably in that trunk. Grab the cash and the VHS tapes. Good. Now bring the cash and the tapes to the outbox on the pier near the lodge. I'll have them picked up by the airplane. Oh, what did I tell you? Our freight vendor fired that pilot who dropped the solar panels. Vicente made certain he'll lose his license never to fly again. Mala leche for him. Alright, well, at least we didn't crash. So, I'll see you guys when we get there, if we get there. You can trust credit, you can trust banks, but you can trust cash in hand. Oh, sorry about that. She cut in uh, earlier than she usually does there. Basically, uh, all Carolina said was that she trusts cash for, or she uses cash for everything. Um, because you can't trust anything else. You can't trust banks or nothing like that. You can only trust cash. So, just to keep you in the loop with what's going on with this story mission. Either way, we're pretty much there, so we'll see what happens next. The bootleg telenovelas, if you are wondering, are all the classics I recorded but never had time to watch in the 80s. I was too busy between the family and the business. Family is important. Never let television get in the way of them. At least, until you are my age. Then you deserve all the TV you want. Moderation, boys and girls, moderation. Even when you get to be her age, moderation is the only healthy way to consume anything. Thank you for making that deposit, and for being trustworthy. Now, let's finish this day off with a bang. We had a drop-off here at the inbox today. Go on, open the inbox. And crash. Boy, this is a hard crash. <laughs> You've got to be shitting me. Yes, that is dynamite, Che. And I want you to take it to the old mine entrance, northwest of the lodge. Time to show you the real money maker at Parque Fernando, my gold mine. All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's crash number five, and we haven't even played for an hour. All right, so we have dynamite, and she wants us to go to an abandoned mining cave. 
And this is our sixth attempt at getting these missions done. Thank you, Crashes. In the mid-80s, I had this place sealed up and let the Pumas move in. That way, Fernando's brothers and uncles and cousins couldn't mess with it. Fortunately, the Pumas don't seem to be around today, so you are probably safe. Oh, jeez, thanks. Probably safe. Always a good thing to hear. <laughs> eh, you probably won't die. Yeah, yeah, great. Awesome. No fumes in sight? Good. Place the dynamite on the wall's entrance. Oof, I should have asked for rainproof fuses. But no problem, lo atamos con alambre. Find some cover and ignite the dynamite with a bullet. With a bullet? Sure. Alright. We'll use the 223 since the ammunition is cheaper. Actually. We'll use the 22 since the ammunition is cheaper. Sure, that's probably safe. Again with the probably. Ha! <laughs> Mira vos! We could hear that boom from ten clicks away. Your ears must be ringing like church bells. When you've got a grip on yourself, head inside the mine. It's structurally safe, or at least that's what some seismologists from Buenos Aires told Vicente. Follow the path all the way until you reach the goal. Now, you're probably thinking, Carolina, how can you open a gold mining operation in a part that's supposed to be a protected habitat? At the end of this path, you'll find out. Understand, the businesses that Fernando inherited from his father and then passed on to me were... complicated. It's taken me years to unwind and restructure them so we can divest our finances from, what do you call legally great businesses and put our money into sustainable green businesses like the reserve like this mine so many men attempted to take over the family after fernando died they all believed this mine was their ticket to untold riches gold silver Boron, lead, name any mineral, they tell you it was down here, boludos, there's gold in this mine, but not in the rock, just up ahead, you'll see what I mean. Water? Beautiful, isn't it? Fernando and I could have purchased a lot of different places in Patagonia, but the underground lake before you is what convinced us to buy this land. The springs feeding this lake produced the purest, best-tasting water on Earth. And all the way back in the 70s, Fernando had the vision to see that this water is liquid gold, even though his uncles call him a fool. Creating a paradise for elite hunters won't be enough to protect this land from pollution and exploitation when I'm gone. But a sustainable spring water bottling operation? It's going to be worth billions. A resource worth so much money no one would dare poison this land. That was Fernando's dream. Now it will be our legacy, and I'm trusting you, my faithful warden, to protect this place. I know you will, because... Uh... I didn't like the sound of that. I know that growl. That's a big puma. A big, angry puma. Our explosion must have upset the neighbors. I hope this isn't the puma I think it is. Regardless, you will have to defend yourself. I think I know that puma. My Fernanda. Don't let her suffer. She's done nothing wrong.
There she is. What the hell? that can somebody tell me what just happened there it was like skipping not cool man so now I gotta do that again you gotta be joking oh man alright I'll see you when I get there Alright, well, apparently I don't have to continue fighting Fernanda or whatever her frickin' name is, was. Apparently she died, um, and we were told to check her stomach because we don't know where Baden is, and uh, we might find Baden's remains inside of her. So, um, yeah, that's going to be a little grisly. I wonder... I don't think they're going to... Sh they wouldn't show anything like that in this game. I don't think we have to worry about that. But I am trying to get there as quick as possible. I could have swore one of those shots was a vital, but I guess not. I just... I'm still freaking out about how she glitched the way she did. I've never seen an animal do that in this game before. That was a whole brand new experience for me. And I mean, it's like, how how do I shoot something that phases <laughs> distance like that, you know? It just, the, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, man. I'm just, I'm just dumbfounded by the whole thing. I should not have died there. Um, I, I think uh, that was a glitch. And, um, they, that glitch just ended up being to my disadvantage. Something else for EW to look at fixing. Hey, anyways, let's see. I knew it. Fernanda ate Gilbert Baden for breakfast. You were almost lunch. I'm glad that you survived. But Baden got what he deserved. Fernanda. She was the great the loss today. When Fernanda was a kitten, I found her limping through the forest with a broken leg, alone, no mother. So I adopted her. Beatriz and I raised Fernanda at the estancia until she was ready to go back to the wild. My family said I pampered her, but I pampered lots of pumas. Fernanda was just smarter than the others. She knew when people didn't belong here. People like Baden. Che. I'm invested in you. I want to protect my investment, so I have a gift for you. It will help if you are cornered by another one of my pampered pumas. Yeah. My beloved Fernando's favorite 44 Magnum. Ooh. I think, given your contributions, he would want you to have it. Really? I know you have plenty of work to do around the reserve, but if you want to tackle something more low-key after all that excitement, Look to Dr. Mariana Luna. I found a gram for Mariana to research medicinal plants here at Parque Fernando. Once she identifies those plants, you can protect them by applying hunting pressure to at risk areas. And with that, I will leave you to the job. I have hours and hours of telenovelas on VHS to watch. I never imagined having the free time to watch them all, but with you at Parque Fernando, well, my legacy is in world-class hands. I can finally rest easy. I'll be around if you need anything. Thank you, Che. Happy hunting. So I'm guessing... That's it for the story missions? Let's head back over here. Someplace a little safer <laughs> to see what's really going on. 
It certainly sounded like that was the end of it. Really? Okay, mating call. Cool. Um, so there's a 44 that was unlocked. So let's see where that's at. Um, well, it wasn't one of these two. Four ten forty five. She did say forty four, right? Um, it's not the twenty two, we know that. This was a DLC. Maybe she... Did she say 45 or 44? Huertos. Kind of like the looks of that. Well, I... Don't know which handgun we unlocked. Um... Weird. It wouldn't be a rifle. Unless it was... No, it wasn't the Cyclone. That's the air rifle. I don't know. I have no clue right now. <laughs> Maybe it ended up in our storage somehow? No? Hmm. I don't know, guys. I really truly don't know. I have no clue what we supposedly unlocked um, right there. But we did complete all the missions for the story. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Trophy Lodge. And I think we have one, maybe two trophies to put up. And then from there, I think we're going to head up to Russia. I think Russia would be a nice change of pace. Um, get out into the cold and get into the winter, you know. Do some hunting of some classic animals, because I think we're done with all of the uh, maps outside of the original three. Let's see, what do we got here? Saved Harvest. Ooh, we got quite a few saved harvests. Um, shoot. I didn't realize we had that many. Well, let's get the gray. Ouch, 9,000? Good God, man. Um, I guess we'll get the mule. And we'll get the cinnamon teal. And the two Pumas, um, I think they'll just have to wait. Because we are pretty short on cash at the moment. Um, so, let's see here. I bet that Puma would look good right there. Because it's not going to fit on the small placard. And that's all that we have left. For this room anyways. And we're trying to fill out this room, so... Let's place him right there. Stocking kind of looks cool. Kind of like that. Um, the cinnamon teal and mule deer. Will the muley fit? The muley won't fit on the small one, will it? Just the cinnamon teal. Yikes. Alright, well we have one spot left on the table. We'll place this cinnamon teal there. Something like that'll work. And I guess we're gonna put the uh, put the muley right here. 
because we've got nowhere else to put them for the time being. But we have lots of places to put them, but we're trying to fill out the rooms one by one. That works for now. Alright, so... All we have left for this room are the rifles, which I'll put in later on. And, um... Small plaques. And then we're going to move on to the next room. What I really, truly might end up doing is, off camera, is taking all these trophies down, rearranging them, getting the uh, multi-mounts done, and then we'll move on from there. So I'm thinking we're actually going to take everything and move it into this great hall, just because there's a whole lot more room for everything. And then we'll save, like, these rooms, these specific rooms, for, like, the diamonds. I don't know. I'll figure it out in my own time. But for now, I think we're looking pretty dang good in terms of trophies. Yeah, we're looking pretty good in terms of trophies. So... Let's come over here. Let's go to map. We've done Te Aurora. We shot up to Yukon. Then we went down to Silver Ridge Peaks. Then we came over here to Cuatro Colinas. Then we shot down to Varhonga Savannah. We just finished Parque Fernando. And that leaves the big three. So I think we're going to start the big three off at Medvedpega in Russia. And we're going to do the story missions in Russia next. Um, it might be a while before I get to these because there's, I've got like 20 videos that I need to schedule. Um, I don't know what order I'm going to put them in. So bear with me if you don't see the Medved story missions for quite some time. I know I have not released... Um, I haven't released Varanga Savannah missions. I haven't released the Quattro Colinas missions. I don't think I have anyways. And I definitely haven't released the story missions for Parque Fernando. Um, the reason being is because I'm also playing Lumberjacks Dynasty as you guys know. And that went live as of today. February the 25th which is the day I'm recording this video. So it might be a while before you guys actually see Medved Daega. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if I earned it, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing. If I haven't, hey, that's okay, too. Thank you for being here. And as always, be safe, be cool, have fun. We'll catch you in the next one.